What's up, YouTubers and uh, Cage Informer fans out there? Um, I'm doing another review on Robo Rods. But wait, I already did two Robo Rods, and they seem to be about the same review. That is correct. Um, the toys all share the same uh, robot kind of body style. It's just different cars that they use. Um, so I still have a couple of more to finish off the wave that I bought. Again, um, since they're pretty much the same thing, I'm going to try to do it all in one quick review. And we're going to be reviewing the Dodge Magnum. The Dodge Charger, another Coupe de Ville, and a Zion TC. Uh, so let's get reviewing. Okay, let's talk about the Robo Rods' uh, packaging. They have their logo up here picture of the car in its robot form there with the car in the background um, it doesn't match the same color of the car because there's color variations it comes with a, an accessory for the for the robot which this one is headphones um, there's a little Zion logo urban robots because these are supposed to be urban get to anyways in the back uh, story about the robots uh, the name of the robots blah 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 brand crappy instructions um, other sponsors or people that get licensing rights for uh, custom parts of the cars and then all the yada 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 your kid could die choke 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 made in china barcode or as the people in the industry call it uh, upc and don't forget the last but not least the warning nah the 99 cent store sticker that says it's a dollar 99 yeah still not letting that go anyways next toy it's a Cadillac Coupe de Ville 63, just like the first review, except for this one's all silver. Still a pimp daddy. I got an extra one just because I, I really like the fact that it's a it's more of a pimp car. Um, same sub stuff, sticker that I don't agree with. Next car. And then here's a Dodge Charger. It's all decked out like a cop car. The accessory, it comes with a golden chain, which I don't know why a cop would need. Um, different paint variation of the robot. Instructions, blah, blah, blah. And last one, the Dodge Magnum. Yeah. The big dad. Well, anyways, he comes with a boombox. That's the only reason why I picked him up. Okay, cool. And that sticker that I don't like. All right, cool. Okay, so here's all four of the Robo Rods in their uh, car form. Uh, let's start off with the uh, Dodge Magnum. Um, really, really pimpish. Or not like pimpish, but uh, pretty gangster here. Um, has a couple of stripes with some flames on them. Uh, two tone paint job, like a metallic silver, and a kind of like a pearlescent orange which is a uh, the plastic mode and some cool rims um headlights are not clear plastic they're actually uh they're like uh decoed on there they're just paint applications same thing with the tail lights uh, overall kind of cool uh, i did come with uh one accessory which is the boom box uh it's all very shiny and chrome and well look you can reflect you can see my forehead you can see my forehead anyways here's the boom box um it doesn't work unfortunately it doesn't actually play some hip-hop or anything um and then, then there's a dodge charger um this one's a cop themed one uh, i noticed that this one's kind of funky uh one of the tires isn't even i think it's the leg one so i kind of feel it um let me clip everything into place okay cool uh, not bad just uh i guess like a gangster version of a cop car uh could have used some cool lights on the top but that, that probably eh. Yeah, that would have made it. Um, you know, painted paint apps everywhere. Uh, Two-tone black and white like a regular cop car. Um, five zero for the number on the top. Some cool rims. Spinners, homes. And, and he did come with one accessory, which is a silver chain. It's off the chain. Damn. Anyways, um, let's go for the Zion TC. Um, this one has kind of a water weird deco to it. Um, has some racing graphics like this is a kind of like a street racing car um, the black has some glitter in it not really too shiny but you can see little spots there it's kind of cool the windows are deco or uh, paint apps uh, paint apps for the tail lights headlights uh, so far cool and of course rims um, and the last but not least a uh, repaint of the coupe de ville 63 coupe de ville um, really really cool it has a pearlescent top to it um, actually the pearlescent paint runs all through the windows and it's just a uh, kind of a metallic ish 
uh, paint job. You can see the little Cadillac logo on there. It has some rims, big grill. These old school, cool, uh, giant cars back in the day from the, the 60s. Anyways, um, he also did come with a pimp cane, but like his other one, except for this one in the packaging, it got molded weird, so yeah, it kind of has like a little bend to it. I don't know if it's supposed to be bent like that, but either way. Uh, came with his, uh, it looks like a shift now, but I think it's a pimp cane. They make it look like this top's a diamond or something. But it's kind of pearlescent. Um, Still, uh, I think the, one of the best accessories so far, even though it's just like a, you know, Harry Potter stick wand. <laughs> Magic. Anyways, let's transform these guys and give them an overall review. Da 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 da. Okay, let's start off with uh, Dr. Magnum. We're going to transform him. Uh, usually you just pop the top off a little bit. That kind of loosens all the other joints. You pull the head and then you twist it down. Oh, this guy's pretty stiff. Check it out. Uh, uh, you can't feel it, but I can. Um, you slide the hands out after you pull them up. And then here's a cool little speaker in the hand, which is a nice little detail. But I put a, probably would have preferred more posability out of the toy. You just bend the back of the, like the trunk part down. And that's pretty much it. The back part tends to wiggle a lot, so it just it kind of just floats there. Uh, separate the legs a little bit uh, okay cool so here's the Dodge Magnum in his robot mode um, put his accessory and probably have to hold it weird there you go so hold it out like a briefcase like he's gonna slap some hole with it cool all right let's do the Dodge Charger da -da -da. I think I'm gonna call him not so prow. If you're a Transformer fan, you kind of know who Prowl is. Um, let's see. Transform his legs. Pull his trunk out. Pull the head down. The hands out. Ooh, white hands. Check it out. White hands. It's a little speaker. And that's pretty much it. You're done. Okay, let's put his accessory on. Um, his chain isn't a full piece of chain. I thought I might have to pop it off, but if you notice, it has like a little gap in between the end. So you could just pull it around his neck. Cool. And he has a chain on. That's actually pretty cool. That accessory actually works really well with these guys. Okay. And he's also stiff as well, too. Yeah. I guess like my last, my first two were pretty loose, the Bel Air and the thing. Probably mold degradation. Okay, so you pull the front of the car for this guy. This is the Zion TC. Uh, pull the top of the car up. Pull the legs out. And swivel them down. Swing the arms around. Put the hands out. Let's expose the little speaker. Well, this guy's kind of loose like a goose. Yeah. Woo! And then he comes with an accessory. It comes with like an MP3 player uh, headphones. Just put the headphones over. I think they're supposed to go over the, the tire covers. So I guess like the tires are his ears. And then there's like a little little gap in between the MP3 player. It goes around the neck. There you go. Uh, this one's kind of wonky. It seems the one side be a little bit sturdier than the other. So he tends to stand up a little weird. Okie doke. Headphones are pretty cool, but they look kind of awkward on the robot. Alright. And then we have the Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Um, first you pull the head. Head down. Same as the first one. Except for the... Oh, this guy's kind of loose. Pull the hands out. Okay. And then pull, roll the feet out. And there you go. And he came with his uh, brethren's uh, accessory, the Pimp King. Just tie that to this house. And there you go. And these are all the new, or the other Robo Rods I got. I mean, there's so many other paint variations, but these are the ones that stood out for me that I really liked. Um, I really liked Coupe de Ville. If there's any more, I'd probably buy more of them. Cool. And this Pip King, because, you know, he's a pimp. Cool. And here's all the Robo Rods together. Let's get them with the other two. Oh, Pimp Daddy next to Pimp Daddy. And then the Billy Gibbons, uh... <laughs> Uh, Bel Air. Overall, uh, 
you know, these kind, some of these are kind of janky, like the back, oh, this kind of, the, the back parts don't really stay anywhere, they kind of just float around, kind of loose. Some of their joints are loose, some of them have like better, sturdier legs that snap into place, or better ball joints on the neck so their heads don't move as much, but then some of them are like really loose and they just kind of uh, wiggle a lot. And uh, Yeah, uh, there are some QC problems, like see this guy, his legs all loose, kind of goes back in, so when you trend him up, he kind of leans to one side. It's kind of leaning like a cholo. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, again, these you probably would buy for, for, you know, they're not great action figures, but I mean, it's just, I mean, the pimp canes and headphones and chains and boom boxes. It's like just the whole, like, like, I guess their nostalgia of like, uh, being like gangster or ghetto robo robots it's 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 i don't know i like it um it, it's the same reason why jazz is my favorite autobot just because he he's kind of funky um he's the, the cool guy in the group who loves rock and roll and all that stuff and these guys kind of hit that little niche that i have for it, uh jazz so overall i mean as cars because they're kind of loose i mean they wiggle a little bit but they look cool again this is probably something you just leave on the shelf you don't really play with um and then somebody comes by and they're gonna be like, hey, that's is that a robot? Is that a pimp king? Yes, it is. It is a pimp robot. And then the uh, you know conversation started. No. Yeah. Anyways, uh, overall, again, I like the design of the cars. Um, I think they're a four out of ten. I mean, that's praising them highly. But again, it's just for the aesthetic, um, like the rims and all that stuff. They're pretty to look at, but uh, they they just don't feel that great quality. But, eh, you know, can't say. I got them for $1.99 at the dollar store. So, well, I hope you enjoyed my review. Uh, I think I'm going to put these guys somewhere at my desk at work. Because, um, you know, it's a good conversation started with your boss. Like, hey, is that a pimp car as a robot? Yes, it is. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed my review. Um, this King with No Kingdom. Please check out... Uh, Cage Informers on Facebook. Uh, we're going to probably launch a website soon, and we'll probably be posting all our stuff there. Um, since it is our website and we're not restricted, we'll probably say a lot more things that we shouldn't be saying um, and bringing up stuff that nobody ever brings up because it it could become like you know uh, people can start trolling about stuff, but we just we just don't care. We just talk about whatever the crap we want and and stuff. But most of the stuff we like to talk about is about comics, animation, gaming, and entertainment. Um, and me, I love toys. So, yeah. Check out my other reviews. I know the Avengers movie is going to be coming out soon. So, I'll probably start doing more uh, more Marvel stuff. I know I got a lot of Marvel Legends uh, stuff that I should start uh, reviewing. And if you don't believe me, da -da -da -da. I got those. And I got tons of those if the lighting's better. But, yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. How about these guys? Probably start talking about them too. Anyways, um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my review. This is King of No Kingdom. Peace out, people. I was born in the East. I got, I love these toys. <laughs>